It is a fact that women are the largest consumers of diet products, including low-calorie food. More so, more women than men become members of fitness clubs, to keep fit and lose weight. More women put on weight than men who might also be due to a deficient thyroid gland, a common women ailment. Although pregnancy is one of the causes of weight gain in women, sometimes it can be attributed to some other factors which points to a deficient diet. Dieting can either be healthy or not, so when you are not doing it the right way, you will lose the essence of what you think is beneficial to you. And that can lead not only to regaining the lost weight but can lead to other unfavorable conditions in which weight gain is one of them. That means that when dieting goes wrong, your weight could be negatively affected. So, to know more, this is how lousy dieting can contribute to weight gain. Crash diets. It might appear contradictory, but crash dieting can also contribute to weight gain, inasmuch as it promises fast weight loss. It comes with the belief that reducing the intake of calories can drastically make one lose weight, but it does backfire. People, who go on crash diets and are in a hurry to lose weight, will find that their bodies quickly adapt to the diminished food intake. This change in food quantities will consequently slow down the body metabolism to function with less food. Once the person who has lost weight starts eating normally again, the metabolism will immediately react once more to the change. It will, again, begin to store fat in large amount. Hence, all the weight is bring to light once more. The risk when one wants to lose fat quickly is that what you will be losing is water and muscle as well, for the body needs its fat reserves to function correctly. Besides, if you do lose weight too quickly when you return to your everyday eating habits, you will no doubt, regain it again. Since, the body will be storing a higher percentage of the fat in the food you consume, to put away additional stores. Fad Diets this kind of dieting relies on the belief that some food can cause weight loss due to its content of some remarkable properties. And why most people believe this is true and have claimed that it helps them lose weight, most dietitians say it will not work that way. Such dieting doesn't lead to a healthy lifestyle or even better dieting, and can also produce short-term results. So in as much as you might think you are doing it all right, it is a wrong way to diet. Fad diets myths are, they believe that some hormones are responsible for either a weight loss or gain. The body chemistry can change by the kind of food one eats, thereby banning some foods from being taken. And all these boil down to reasons why the fad diet isn't the best option when it comes to losing weight. It can make the body less hydrated. Because when we tend to lose weight too quickly, most of the weight shed is water weight and that can lead to sudden dehydration. This method of weight loss can also lead to diarrhea, which in turn causes dehydration and other digestive issues like constipation. It also leads to malnutrition which is as a result of crash diets, not eating enough carbs and fats that the body needs. Loss of energy in the body, when you avoid the intake of calories, can affect the energy levels in the body. Calories do convert to energy, so how can one feel energized when its supply has diminished? Liquid diets Another kind of dieting is liquid diet, may be useful to some certain extent but it isn't the kind of weight loss strategy you should use for a long time. Doctors do recommend this diet options, for patients before and after surgery for reasons, which has been effective in losing off some weight. And while this idea might encourage healthy fruits and vegetable smoothies, fast weight loss and so on. It can also increase the risk of developing a gallstone problem if it associated with poor eating habits. While this strategy may work, depending on it all alone isn't right. But substituting one of your daily meals with this kind of dieting can be a great way of losing weight healthily. And why there are some liquid diets like fruits and vegetable smoothies and other healthy fluid that can provide the body with enough calories. There are some that are bad as well. Such as the intake of some specific juice, teas, and so on, and why they produce impressive results. You are likely still to regain the weight loss when the detox plan stops. And this dieting strategy isn't good for all, such as a pregnant and nursing mother, underweight individuals and even children. However, if liquid dieting is done the right way and at the right time, it becomes healthier than either a fad diet or crash diet strategies. Advice for Healthy Weight Loss Weight loss diets, most times, come with short-term success. And from some studies, it has been found that chronic dieting can as well lead to weight gain. So, in most cases, people are advised to do it the better ways by exercising, as it produces a long-term effect. Exercise with a well-balanced diet is helpful for weight loss and weight management. With diets, which have to be richer in proteins and carbohydrates rather than fat together with regular exercise, 
body weight can be under control. Exercise, also, helps tone the body to burn off the fats stored in it. It is, of course, essential to eat less food than you burn in fat energy while exercising. Not all people have the same ideal weight, even if they are the same height. Everyone is built differently, and people with a higher density of muscle will weigh more than those with the same ratio of fat. A body mass index, BMI, is an efficient way to find your ideal weight. With this system, you can find the exact percentage of fat tissue as opposed to muscle present in your body. BMI is a process which an electronic device, measures the level of body fat through an electric current discharge. The device measures how long the electric current takes to pass through your body. With this data, you can measure the amount of actual fat. As muscle tissue is a good conductor of electricity, while fatty tissue is not, the more fat present in your body the slower, the current will take to pass through your body. There are many kinds of dieting strategies today, ketogenic diet and paleo diet to name a few. Even though they promise fast and better results with some claims that it's working fine from its participants, it still doesn't make it a good diet plan. Therefore, to successfully lose body fat as you desire and keep them off, you have to diet the right way, by adopting some positive changes towards healthy foods. Thanks for watching the video, if you liked it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this.